what are the symptoms of sciatica how can you suspect that you have sciatica so sciatica is caused by a slip disc compressing on the nerve so there are stages of sciatica so at every stage the symptoms keep increasing initially the patient will complain of low back pain the back, this back pain is more severe when the patient sits or bends or squats and the pain decreases when the patient sleeps when the disc starts com starts compressing the nerve root, then the patient will start complaining of low back pain which gradually starts radiating to buttock if the slip disc is on one side and if it is compressing one nerve root on one side it will complain of pain in one buttock but if the slip disc is on on both the sides or the slip disc is in multiple level then the patient will complain of pain in both the buttocks and similar to the back pain this buttock pain will increase in sitting position or bending downwards as the compression nerve root increases further the radiating pain will start radiating along the back of the thigh back of your knee and it reaches the back of the leg until the sole so if the patient complains of pain com uh, radiating until the sole it means that there is a significant compression of the nerve until this stage the pain which the patient is experiencing is is a protective mecha mechanism by your body this shows the body is given an indication it's alerting you that your nerve root is being compressed take precautionary measures take treatment measures suppose the patient neglects even at this stage what happens this nerve root which which was being compressed which was sending you uh, alert messages until now will start becoming damaged will start becoming injured so what are the signs of injury to nerve root each nerve root has two functions it controls the power in specific groups of muscles and it also controls your sensations so as the nerve gets starts getting damaged the patient will pursue numbness in some part of the leg usually numbness is not in the entire leg but in one particular part of the skin which is being supplied by that nerve which is being compressed for example if you are now which is known as l4 that is fourth lumbar nerve is compressed the patient may complain of num numbness along the front aspect of the leg suppose the nerve which is being compressed is s1 sacral nerve root 1 then the patient will complain of num numbness along the foot of, uh, along the sole so as the nerve gets damaged the patient will complain of numbness or some people will complain of burning sensation or a tingling sensation usually it's like initially the patient will have some tingling followed by numb uh, following by burning and following by numbness but it's not a rule that the patient will have the same sequence of events as the compression still increases patient will have weakness of the muscles specific group of muscles as of to suppose the patient nerve root which is being damaged is l4 this l4 nerve root is concerned with dorsiflexion dorsiflexion is your ability to pull your pull your foot up so the patient will when he is walking he will have a foot drop he will have weakness in, he will be we have weakness in elevating the foot up so when he is walking his slippers keep on slipping so similarly if the nerve root which is being damaged is l1 or l2 he will have weakness in pulling his hip up so in in this stage the patient will start identifying weakness in specific group of mu muscles of the leg when it becomes more severe the patient's capability to uh, to urinate the patient capacity to pass bubble the pass feces he will not be able to control his motions he will be passing feces without his control stools without his con control and his sexual capacity becomes impaired so it it becomes very imperative or compulsive for a patient with sciatica to identify, identify these symptoms so that he will reach his neurosurgeon or his spine surgeon or a physician as early as possible thank you